I thought I'd follow up on my text article with a video showing how to use common Windows keyboard shortcuts to break out of a point of sale system or a kiosk system, some piece of software that takes the full screen and tries not to let you break out and run any other application that you want. I don't have any kiosk software on this machine directly, but I do have Internet Explorer which we can fire up in kiosk mode, which I will do here with a dash K. Once the kiosk software is up and running, there's several ways you can break out of it depending on how it's implemented. Now if it's just something laid on top of Windows normal shell, explorer.exe, then you can use some of the classic keys like just the Windows key to bring up the start bar, or for that matter, control escape can do the same thing, and break out that way. Also does the classic of just killing it, F Alt F4, which may drop you out to normal Explorer shell. And uh, there's also the option, even though we don't have the icon up here in the top left corner, to try to minimize this application, which you can bring up that particular system menu by using Alt Space. Unfortunately, it also has a tendency to sometimes crash, i.e. when I have this page up, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. But if it doesn't crash, you can get it out of your way and bring it back up. But let's say that they don't have explorer.exe running in the background. Let's say they have their own custom shell they put into the win login section of the registry and have it firing up. Well, there's still various keys that may work. The Alt F4 may work, probably not, and, but it's still useful to try things like Alt tabbing to see if there's any other applications running in the background that you can get to and from there try to break out. Now there's three main methods that I use for trying to get out of captive software. The first one is probably going to be disabled because it's a simple registry setting for disabling task manager. But you can get to the task manager by control delete start task manager. From here you can then end processes or of course you can just fire up something new like if I want a command prompt. By the way if you have a command prompt up and running and you want to know who you are, try using Q rinsed and find out your adrian and then you can find out also what privileges you might have by using net user adrian and you see I'm an administrator you would be surprised the level of privilege that a lot of uh, kiosk and point of sale systems run at but if you want to find out drop out that way besides using control alt delete for getting to task manager there's also control shift escape to bring up the exact same thing and you can run whatever you want. But that's probably going to be disabled on most point of sale systems and hopefully most kiosks as well. So what's another way of breaking out? Well the second method is basically involves getting an explore window whatsoever. In this case for this one particular application since it's IE based if I hit F1 what will come up is a help which is basically a full web browser. Sometimes you run into other silliness that same thing happens. And from here, you can get to any place you want. Let's say Windows System 32. And from here, run whatever you want. In this case, probably Command. And that's basically breaking out via having an Explorer window that has a bar. There's a couple of other ways to get to that. For instance, let's say I was to bring up um, accessibility features. You could do a a Windows key U and from here break out to wherever you want also that was a win U for bringing up those accessibility features so let's say we didn't have an explore window we could easily get to well we can also get out the uh, common dialog which essentially is an explore window too so let's show that Let's find something on here that we can right click on and get a save or an open dialog. I'm going to use the save picture as. Now this is explorer based. You can still break out a lot of other point of sale systems and uh, kiosk systems if you can just get a help up. From standard Windows help, depending on whether that's the HTML version or it's one of the older versions, you can get out either using the file open dialog or by right clicking and trying to save, view source or whatever on the current help that you're looking at. Now in this case I got a common dialog up and this essentially is an explore window in of itself. 
I could use this bar to get to someplace else, or this bar down here. And I'm going to go ahead and go to C, Windows, System32, and we want to be able to run something from here. I want to see the exe, so I do a star.exe, and there's command. Now I don't want to double click on this, because I don't want to overwrite it. So I'm going to say no to that. Don't hit save, don't double click on it. You don't want to replace your command.exe, that would be bad. Instead, right click on it and say open. And that essentially runs it. And now you can run whatever you want there. Let's say for some reason you can't right click, try using control and left click and it brings up the same menu. Now this menu may be disabled. There's a feature where you can set things up to where a context menu does not appear on right click. And that probably is a good feature for people to disable on a, a POS system. So how are we going to get this to run? Well you could just drag and drop something into it and it will run also and from here launch whatever else you want. Oh, another neat feature that is enabled in Vista and new, I believe, but I believe you have to edit a certain register key to get it to work in XP, is uh, open command prompt here. If you hold down shift and right click, you can get an open command prompt here and fire off what you want. And another feature of breaking out of a common dialog box is just to use control N and that opens up a new window which happens to be an explorer window and then you can get to any place that you want on the system. Now a few of my other favorite keystrokes for breaking out and getting to one of these common dialogues would be things like well hitting shift five times in a row that brings up sticky keys and on newer versions of windows you can click and here you have an explorer dialog you can get out of and go and do what you want to do. Uh, F1 is also a really popular one like I showed before for finding something that you can get a file menu from and hopefully be able to break out. For instance, if you can find anything that brings up notepad like let's say view the source of here. Now this isn't notepad anymore but had it been you could still get out and get to a common dialog. In this case I'm doing it via save. A lot of these kiosk systems and uh, point of sale systems you're probably going to encounter are going to be running older versions of Windows. So if you happen to get to IE, you're probably going to get open notepad in uh, when you try to do a view source. But that's a couple simple ways of breaking out of a system if it's got you captured. I have a huge list on my article up on the Trusted Sec website, so go check that out. I also have a few keys you might want to look into for locking it down so people can't easily break out using these keystrokes. But there's so many different ways and so many different Windows keystrokes you can use to possibly get to a system dialog that it's kind of a losing battle. But I hope you enjoyed the video and have a good day.